Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dr. Bupesh from Dr. BKM Institutes. Please subscribe our channel if you have not. Our contact number is 76967-34256. Call us right away for the best OET coaching. I'm doing one of the reading questions for you. It is part B where we have got three options. And in the part C, we have got four options. But it's almost the same. So first of all, we need to, technique is also the same. Elimination method is one of the methods we use. Let's talk about everything. Uh, the email is reminding staff that the, so now we need to read the email. So these are the questions I normally say are like purpose questions. What is the purpose? What is the gist? What is the crux? What does the writer infer? So words like infer, purpose, gist, all these words come under this category. So what is the purpose? So what is this email re regarding? So the email is reminding staff that the most of the times the answer of these kind of questions would be in the last line. Most of the times that you need to remember. So I'm just going to do this uh, to staff. So you all are staff. Suppose you are getting the email use of the bed rails. Please note patients in the hospital may be at the risk of falling from bed for many reasons, including poor mobility, dementia, delirium, visual impairment, and the effects of the treatment or medication. That means patient may fall from the bed because of various reasons. Bed rails can be used as safety devices in intending to reduce the risk. So we put the bed rails so that the bed rails around the bed so that patient does not fall off. However, bed rolls, uh, bed rails are not appropriate for all patients and their use involve risk. National data suggests that 1250 patients injure themselves on the bed rails annually. That means there are a lot of injury due to the bed rails. Usually scraps and bruises to their lower legs. Statistics show that 44,000 reports of the patient falls from the bed annually resulting 11 death. Now they should have mentioned the word however, but they have not given the word however because in this line, they were talking about the injuries due to bed rails. But now they are talking if bed rails are not there, then there are 11 death. While death, while death due to the bed rail entrapment occur less than one, one every two years. That means there is only one death due to bed rails. Otherwise, if you do not have the bed rails, then patient falls and there are almost 11 death. So what we can understand that the benefit of bed rails are more benefits of bed rails are more because there is only one death in two years due to bed rail entrapment whereas if the patient falls then there are 11 deaths every year so obviously bed rails are better and are avoidable if the patient is dying due to the bed rail entrapment then also it is avoidable if you follow the guidelines so the email is telling the staff that if you follow the guidelines, bed rails are better to be used. Staff should continue to take great care to avoid bed rail entrapment, but be aware that in hospital settings, there may be a greater risk of harm to the patients who fall out of the bed. So the last line says to the staff, to you guys, that the people who fall from the bed have more chances of harm. Whereas the people due to the bed rail entrapment still are very less and you can avoid it. So the email is telling you that benefits are more than disadvantages of the bed rail. So that means benefit of the patient of using bed rails can outweigh the dangers. Outweigh is the word that means the benefits are heavier. The benefits are heavier means the benefits are more than the dangers. And that is what this email is telling. Now the question is complete, but still I would like to teach you a little about the elimination method if it is applicable. The email is reminding staff the number of bed rail related accidents has reached unaccepted levels. So this email was not telling about bed rail related accidents because there is only one accident that happens due to bed rail and that too once in two years, once in two years less than one in two years, not even one. So they were not talking about the number of bed rail related accidents. 
patient's condition should be central to any decision it was not talking about the patient yes there was a line that it is not appropriate for all the patients patient's condition should be central but they were not saying that the patient condition is the main thing overall the last line was saying that bed drill should be used carefully so the main purpose of this email was to tell the staff that benefits are more if you will use it nicely and if you do not take any chances and if you take care of the patient so central word was not given that is how you eliminate they were not saying bad bad drills are not appropriate and this is the main thing if this would have been the main thing then in the last it would have been written that patient condition should be checked before using the bad drill but this email was not like that this email was saying bad drill should be used as it is more useful and it there is a greater risk of harm to the patients if patient fall out of the bed and also you all are nurses you all know that we are supposed to use the bed bed rails for every patient this is dr bupesh from dr bkm institute please subscribe our channel to learn more that is how you make sure about and this option number of accidents has reached reached unacceptable levels nothing was talking about unacceptable so the eliminating words are unacceptable levels it's not given eliminating word is central so that is how you need to understand these words like central then you will understand this is not the main thing they are talking about and then you come to this thing benefits outweigh the dangers benefits are heavier than dangers yes benefits are more because there is only one death in two years if you do not use it there are 11 death annually so benefits are more thank you and please try to understand these things because this will help you to score higher much higher and much better thank you